All right, so here's a requested topic I want to look at today. And this is looking at the potential of food shortages coming up. There's a whole bunch of factors that could cause this to happen. So let's just look at, you know, within the next year, we'll look at like spring, um, summer and fall, or like the next three seasons, and see if there is a food shortage. I think the way that I want to do this is sort of to look at the health of the food supply. You know, that might be easier to do than to look at a potential thing that might happen. To look at just how the cards show the food supply and the supply chain and all of that stuff. So, random word. Chicken fucker. Uh, number 22. Chicken fucker 22. I guess the chicken part makes sense in there. So, let's just see what we get. The health of the food supply. And that is not a very good start. Okay. So, with the three of swords, this is heartbreak and betrayal. So, right away, this is pretty much showing um, the health of the global food supply. Um, is undergoing like they're they're feeling some stuff here, but it is betrayal and heartbreak and uh, We can look further at what caused the betrayal But the main card that comes up is the nine of cups and the nine of cups is essentially about confusion So this might be so many factors hitting at the same time that it causes confusion You know this might also be like dreaming about food um but the nine, it really shows a lot of moving parts and basically not knowing exactly what to do. So we'll look at what leads up to it and where it goes. Where does it go? Okay. So what leads up to the confusion? The reversed six of wands and the six of wands is acknowledgement for a bunch of work that is done. Um, I can also see how this really would show a harvest, you know, because the person goes in, this is like the transformation, and as they come out, and then all the people that are like hailing the transformation, but I can see how maybe this, like with any crops, they basically have to go through a metamorphosis and a transformation, and if they don't do that, then, uh, you know, there, there's really nothing there to eat. So, where this moves is to the reverse temperance card. And the re so the temperance card is like measured reactions and patience and wisdom and understanding. It's also being able to blend a couple of different things together to really create a third thing. Here, this is like oil and water, where there's these two things that absolutely refuse to be blended. Um, now, you could see that in almost every global or domestic fucking situation in the world right now. You can look at about any country and see two forces that just fucking refuse to be blended. They will not work together. Um, so let's just look a little more at this temperance card to see what it is. Yeah. And we get a five of cups and the five of cups, it's the old married couple. This is communication breaking down, but this is like the relationship between people and or countries, right? And this relationship, it just has broken down and these two things are no longer going to work together. They're not going to be blended there's probably a lot of political hoo-ha that is involved here. So, now let's look over here and just see what keeps the transformation from being uh, recognized or whatever. And we get the Ace of Wands. Fascinating. So I have to figure out what I'm looking at here. The Ace of Wands just uh, its core meaning is like 
giving energy to a new thing. And it is about birth and growing and all of that stuff. So, I mean, this could be the seeds, like literally the seeds themselves of, of the plants and all of that. Um, and like there would be something weird about the seeds that would not allow them to properly grow. Or it could be some new thing that a whole bunch of energy is being put into that sort of uh, comes at the expense of our food supply. Um, okay. So let's just see, because this basically does look like there is at the very least disruption, right? So let's try to see the severity of this and I'll, I'll look at summer and then I'll look at fall. Um, so the, the health of the food supply in the summer, Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is, um, basically about consistency and sort of following a very specific pattern. Now we will look at fall and we get a seven of cups. So it looks like fall is kind of when things start getting less, um, Mm, cut and dried. Knight of Pentacles is is very consistent. The Seven of Cups, this is kind of the opposite of material consistency, right? The Seven of Cups is about artistic expression, you know, and it's all about like deeper emotional understandings. But as far as we're looking at uh, the, the health of a, a food chain and a food supply, um, this, just like the Nine of Cups in the center, these are not solid material things whatsoever. So it looks like some of the stability would start to decrease in the fall. And we'll just look at the winter. I think I might have to shuffle for this because we're looking a little farther out. Oh, I almost pulled that one, but then I felt like it wasn't it. So food supply in the winter, and I'm talking about Northern Hemisphere winter because I live in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, Queen of Swords reversed. So there's a lot of fear and anxiety that gets put in here. And this might also be when the gloves start to come off because the Queen of Swords, lonely and anxious, She's very good at taking her anxiety out on other people, which you can see as her sword is dripping blood. Um, the Queen of Swords reversed. She might just stab anybody, you know. Um, so this looks like it gets increasingly worse, but it doesn't look like it would hit too hard in the summer. Um, but then there's like this shaky period when it stops like being as real as it was, followed by high anxiety and the gloves coming off. Now, I just want to pull a card to see, like, if this can be avoided or, you know, what, what a person could actually do about this. And it looks like there's two of them. Woo. So we get two fives. The, the Five of Pentacles is basically about having nothing. <laughs> so that's not a very good sign. And the Reverse Five of Wands. So this is competition and fighting. And this would theoretically be about not fighting anymore, right? Um, and this could be because there's bigger fish to fry. And the Five of Pentacles is basically just showing how... Maybe the way to combat this is by not having anything. So that's what we get. I would love to hear... Well, oh, hold on, hold on. So part of the deal with this reading, it, it was like um, the way the question was posed to me, at, because this is a requested topic, is that uh, the person felt like this might be orchestrated, right? 
that it might be an orchestrated food shortage. So let's just look and see if this is confusion and incompetence and a whole bunch of fucking random waves hitting each other at the same time, or if this was uh, more organized and the two of wands would probably show that it was organized. Like there's these two different forces that are brought together and used as a tool. So um, this would essentially say, and like literally this card is about planting, and uh, it, it would have been a very positive card to show up originally, for this reading about the the food supply but this talks about i mean truly about engineered food production and all of that so yes would the disruption in the food supply be sort of orchestrated or engineered the two of wands would say that yes it would be um so there you have it i would love to hear any um theories or ideas about this, and let me know also if you have any requests for other readings you would like to see, and peace.